Okay, here we are going to find the domain in the range for the compositions of these two functions. First, we are going to do f of g of x. So right here, you see that f is on the outside, but g of x, well, you see that right here is inside. And we know g of x is this. So I'll just enter 2x plus 1 here. And then we just have to continue. This is telling us that we have to enter this right here for this x, right? So we still have that three in the front. And then... The x right here is this now, namely square root of 2x plus 1. And then we have the minus 5 on the outside. So we have all this minus 5. So that's pretty much it for the composition because there's nothing that we can combine terms or whatsoever. Right? So this right here is it. All right. Now let's see how to find the range and also the domain for this right here. So let's do the domain first which is just a set of all the possible x values. Remember for the domain of this kind of function is that you set the inside to be greater than or equal to zero. So again, let me just indicate that we have to focus on this right here, which is 2x plus 1. We have to make it greater than or equal to zero. And then we can just continue. Minus 1, minus 1, cancel. And then continue, we have... 2x greater than or equal to negative 1. And finally, divide both sides by 2 so that they cancel. And we see x is greater than or equal to negative 1 half. We keep the inequality because we just divide it by positive 2 on both sides. So this is the domain. Now for the range. Usually range is easier. You don't have to do a lot of computations, but you have to remember what you're looking for. This is a square root situation. The number in front, you see the three right here, is positive. That means the range is just y greater than or equal to this number on the outside, right? The number you are adding or subtracting. So here, y is greater than or equal to negative five, just like that, right? Well, second part, g of f of x. So this right here, g on the outside, f of x is this now, so I will just enter 3x minus 5 inside for the f of x. Well, g of x is what? It's this. So here we have the square root, 2, and then we have the x, which is going to be whatever the inside is, right? So it's this, and I will just enter this 3x minus 5, which is good. And then, oops. And then I'm just going to close my parentheses. After that, we have to add one. All right. Now, what can we do? You see, we can distribute the two to the parentheses. So we'll do that. So square root, two times this is six x, two times negative five is negative 10. And then this part is done, but we still have the plus one, right? And we see we have the negative 10 plus one, combine them. That's negative 9. So this is just square root of 6x minus 9. And with that, we are done for this. All right, so domain and range again. So let's see. Let me put down the domain right here. Well, again, it's a square root situation. We have to make the inside greater than or equal to 0. So I'll just put down 6x minus 9 greater than or equal to zero. And then we'll just continue. We will add a nine on both sides. Cancel. And then we have the six X. That's greater than or equal to positive nine. Right here, we'll just divide the nine on both sides. I mean, divide the six on both sides. Let me see. Divide the six on both sides so that they cancel. And then we have x is greater than or equal to 9 over 6. Reduce that. Divided by 3, divided by 3, we get 3 over 2. So x is greater than 3 half, right? And uh, for the range, I will just put it down right here. Well, per our discussion earlier, the range is the number that we're adding on the outside of the square root, right? Well, it's 0. And this is the positive square root. So... That will just be y greater than or equal to 0, just like that. And be sure you enter the domain 
to be like this and the range to be like this and you know know what you are looking for for all these situations if you need review be sure you guys watch the lecture notes over again right so that's it